This is a spectrum of digital signals transmitted through the Digital Terrestrial Broadcasting System. The digital movement is bringing dramatic changes to the world of broadcasting. In November 1998, Test radio waves of the Digital Terrestrial Television System were transmitted from Tokyo Tower. This marked the start of full-scale experimentation on digital terrestrial broadcasting in Japan. The ceremony to commemorate the start of the test transmission was broadcast by Relay on HDTV and shown to the public in the DBEG booth at the International Broadcast Equipment Exhibition. We'll be showing you some of the special services that will become available with the use of the Digital Terrestrial Broadcasting System developed in Japan. Once we are fully into the age of Digital Terrestrial Broadcasting, all of the broadcasting equipment in use, both at home and in broadcasting stations, will be digital. A program is sent from a station to a transmitter as a digital signal. At the same bandwidth in use today, an OFDM digital signal is broadcast from the transmitter. The signal is received by the same antenna mounted on the roof today. The antenna for terrestrial broadcasting is capable of receiving high-definition television programs. You can watch TV programs even in a moving car without interference. You can also enjoy sound broadcasting such as high-quality music programs. A number of specific services will be available. With your antenna for terrestrial broadcasting at home, you will be able to watch digital broadcasting of high-definition and multi-channel TV programs. Using the Digital Terrestrial Broadcasting System, one high-definition TV program can be broadcast on the same bandwidth used for one standard TV program today. And if the Digital Terrestrial Broadcasting System is used for standard TV programs, three TV programs can be broadcast on the same bandwidth now used for one. The result is a greater number of programs and a wider selection of programs for the viewer to choose from. With today's analog broadcasting system, the image sometimes suffers from ghost interference like this. With digital broadcasting, there is no interference. The image is always clear. With digital broadcasting, stable TV images can be received even in a moving car. In mobile reception of today's analog broadcasting, images are destroyed by a form of interference called fading. With digital broadcasting, stable images are maintained without interference. By picking up part of the spectrum, you can enjoy sound broadcasting of high-quality music programs. And you can watch data broadcasting with a portable receiver. The quality of sound broadcasting is superb, no different from that of a CD. Stock quotes, weather forecasts, and other types of information can be obtained in real time. High, high hopes are staked on digital terrestrial broadcasting and its many merits.